Hi everyone, today we're going to be looking at the Arduino Uno Super Starter Kit Analog Inputs. Detailed information contained in the video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you at video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in this series as well. So we'll now be looking at using the analog inputs to our Arduino Uno controller. Now an analog input converts voltage level into digital value that can be used in an Arduino program or sketch. Now examples of this external input signal uh, that can represent very uh, many different things like levels, distance, brightness, density, humidity, etc. Um, and all those can be bring in, brought into the controller as an analog input and then we can manipulate that data in our uh, program or sketch within the Arduino. Now we're going to be wiring a 10k potentiometer to our first analog input of the controller and the, uh, and the, uh, the controller and the controller is actually an Arduino Uno R3 from our super starter kit. Then as the analog values change via the potentiometer we're going to use pulse width modulation or PWM to change the brightness of an LED uh, light emitting diode. And we will look at how this conversion from analog voltage to digital is done. And values will be displayed on the built-in serial monitor of our Arduino IDE software. So let's get started here. And up on my screen, you'll see that we have a 10K potentiometer. And what you'll notice is we have three pins, one, two, three. And the middle one here being what they call the wiper of the unit. So an analog or a potentiometer is just a resistor that can vary. So what you'll see is this centerpiece here, as I turn, turn it, it will create a wiper and moves back and forth and, and uh, changes the resistance between this pin and the wiper. So between one of the pins and the wiper is where we put our input signal. So if we look at the actual uh, circuit diagram of this, you'll see here's my potentiometer here with my three pins. So I have a wiper here, which goes to one side, and then we have the second uh, uh, pin here say going to ground and the other one here that would be our pin number three would be our plus voltage so that is our the way that actually uh, works performs and every time we deal with um, analog we deal with resolution of an analog signal and typically it is, it is expressed in the value of uh, bit data so in our case here the Arduino Uno has a 10-bit resolution of the analog input signals and we have actually six of them on our actual board. So to see what that actually represents, if we call up our calculator in our windows here and we'll go to the programming or programmer calculator and currently right now it's set for decimal but if we go down here it's set up for binary and as soon as we do we get the pad keypad here changes from to a one and a zero only. So what we'll do is put in 10 uh, bits here and they group them by groups of four. So there's my 10 and my 10 bits here represented in hexadecimal is uh, 3FF, in decimal it's 1023 and in octal it's 1777. So decimal you'll notice is 1023 so if we count zero as as being a also a place the resolution is going to be 1024 so what it does is takes that zero to five volt signal and converts it into 1024 equal segments along that our resolution getting us our 10 bit resolution so the higher bit count the higher that number is the more resolution we get per uh, uh, voltage level that we're reading into our controller. So that's how that uh, that works. So looking back at our diagram here, the other thing that comes with our kit is actually a analog joystick. And this analog joystick also has a ground, it has a 5 volt signal, it has a X and a Y, and we have a switch as well, which we press down on the joystick, it actually activates a switch. The X and Y are basically the same. It gives us an analog value of 0 uh, to 1023 for each of the axes. 
And so if the joystick's in the middle or no one touches it, it will actually be a value of, of 512, which is the middle point of that analog signal. So if we actually look at the wiring diagram for that, you'll see that we have uh, two analog, which goes into our analog input signal right here on our board. We have our five volt and we have our ground, which goes to one side of the joystick and our other switch goes into our first input, which is uh, input pin number two. So this example is actually on the Elegoo Super Starter Kit software disc that comes with a package and you can actually then uh, try the, the sample program out using that uh, information. In our example, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna take our 10K pot, we'll take our wiper and actually connect it to A0. We'll take our one side of the, the pin connected to the five volt power supply and our other side goes into our ground. Then we'll take our uh, an LED output here. We'll take output number three, which is the first pulse width modulated output. And we will put that um, into one side of the resistor. The other side of the resistor goes to our uh, pl uh, plus side of our LED. And then the negative side of our LED goes to the ground. So that gives us our, our wiring diagram for our pulse width modulated output, which will change that LED light. So now let's take a look actually at our hardware. So here we go. And so we have our Elegoo R3. And currently right now we have a program in there. It's just the blinking default value. We have our 10K pot, which is located right here. And you'll notice that we have the three pins. So there's three connections on there. We also have a, um, a little thumb wheel that we put in the middle of it so that we can actually uh, turn that, that uh, thumb wheel with this knob that we put on there. And we have our LED light with our resistor going back into pin number three. So that's our wiring diagram. To the right hand side, you'll see that we have our actual joystick and we actually have a cap that comes off. So that's the actual cap. The actual joystick itself looks like this. You can see as I move the one axis, you'll see the one axis, turn it around, you'll see the other axis. And so I can move that all around and the axis will move. Pushing down on it will activate that switch. So putting the cap back on, what you'll see is that we can um, there we go. So that's our, it gives us full range of motion and pushing down will give it a switch. So you can create several different uh, programs and prototypes using that type of uh, control. And like we said before, when it stops in the middle like it is right now and no one touches that joystick, you're getting 512 and 512 on both those X and Y axes. So let's take a look at our Arduino sketch for this soft, this program right here, which we're going to increase our potentiometer and we're going to change the light frequency here. So the first thing we'll do is we specify our LED uh, three pin as the third pin. Then during our setup, what we're going to do is set up our serial port and our serial port is located right here on our IDE. It's a serial monitor and it allows us to then to use this or aid us in troubleshooting our Arduino Uno uh, software, as well as troubleshoot and figure out why things are happening or why they're not happening. So we can always use the serial monitor as a quick guide as when we're developing our program to figure out what all these variables are. So in our case here, we're using the serial monitor. Um, we're actually, uh, uh, using the uh, 1115,200 bit or baud rates. So this is bits per second that are going to that serial monitor. And we have the communication rate of, of eight, eight data bits, no parity, and one stop bit, which is the actual default value that we have for our um, serial monitor. Then we have our pin mode. We say it's an output pin on our LED 3. Then we go into our loop. 
in our loop here, we read the input on our analog input signal. So that input analog read, again, once we read that, it's gonna give us a value, and that value will be anywhere from zero to 1,023, representing those 10 bits that we have. Then what we do is we convert this to an analog read. So um, what we're gonna do is take a look at the voltage and try to convert that into a voltage signal. So our analog comes in at zero to 2,023. 10 bit and our voltage is from 0 to 5 volt so in order to create or calculate our voltage we use the float value because we're using decimal numbers and we take our sensor value times 5.0 which is our maximum voltage divided by 1023.0 which is our um, maximum um, for our 10 bit resolution and that gives us a value or a voltage value here, which will be actually a float, which will be a decimal number system. So it'll give us a, a decimal uh, placement. Then what we do is we want to calculate our pulse width modulated for our LED. And our resolution on our LED output is going to be 0 to 255 resolution. So now we have to take that uh, uh, 1023, convert that to the 255 as a, as a ratio and make sure that we then output that. So in order to do that, we calculate what we call, it's an integer, brightness, and we take our sensor value again, which is our analog input read, and we multiply that by 255.0, which is a maximum for our pulse width modulation. Divide that by uh, 1023.0, which is our maximum for our analog input reading, our 10-bit resolution. It's important that we use actually the point zero here because it tells internally to the Arduino that we're gonna calculate these values using a float point type uh, system. We're gonna multiply by our sensor value and we're gonna give an integer value for our brightness. So it'll actually work. If we do not use the decimal place, what will happen is it will not use uh, a float point system when it does the calculation. So you will get incorrect information. So then what we do is we set our LED, our pulse width uh, modulated LED. So we do an analog right, LED three pin and our brightness level. Then what we do is we say, uh, set up our voltage or our serial por uh, print for our parameters. So we do a serial print voltage equals with space. Then we print our voltage. We do a serial print, our input uh, decimal, and then we set our sensor value then we do a serial print LED brightness. Again, all the spaces here, so that it prints all nice in one line. And then we say serial print line brightness. So the line here says this is the end of the line. It prints this and gives a carriage return onto our screen for us. So that's our entire program. Well, let's, let's uh, upload this now to our Arduino Uno uh, controller. And once we finish uploading that, what we will do, which is done now, we will now take a look and you can see here, here's my transmit receive lights. So we're trying to communicate serially. Let's open up our serial monitor. There we go. And you can see here, here's my voltage, my input uh, decimal number, my LED brightness. And you see it's going quite quickly because every scan, we're actually sending this out. So now let's increase our potentiometer to increase that light intensity. And as we do, you will then see the light brightness increase. There we go. You see that uh, it's a little flaky because again, we're using a breadboard and that breadboard um, is not a stable sometimes, especially when we're trying to manipulate and change things. So right now I've got my voltage coming in, uh, 4.43, 4.45. Our decimal is around 9, um, 10, 9, 9, 909. And then we see our LED brightness, it relates back to about 215, 218. So if I turn that back again, I'll try to be a little more stable. You can see as it goes down, and we'll go right to off. 
and we'll slowly bring it up again. So that seems to work very well. So you can see how we relate from our voltage input on our analog to a digital signal. And then we can use that in our actual program. So if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. If you have any questions about the video, please leave a uh, comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. If you want more information about us or you want our free eBooks on numbering systems or robust data logging, please click on the link in the description below to get it. A new video is put out every Monday, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Stay safe.